This is Brandon Chibley from Toradex. I'm going to show you how to use the Serial Console with your Toradex computer module. The Serial Console is useful for debugging the module, especially if you're not seeing anything on the display. It's also handy for accessing the bootloader and for flashing new images to the module. So let's show you how to get started. If we're working with our Iris carrier board or our Xora carrier board, you can access the Serial Console at URA on these headers. That's X13 on the Iris carrier board X22 on the Xora carrier board. We often provide a little cable like this to give you a DB9 connector on the on that header. And then you can connect a uh, standard serial cable or USB to serial adapter. Um, and of course, if you're connecting to your host machine, you'll want to be sure to use a null modem or a crossover cable. Now, if you're working with one of our evaluation boards, you can access the serial console on URA at the bottom DB9 connector here or via the USB connector here, which has an onboard USB to serial converter. In either case, you want to be sure to properly set jumpers 17 and 19 here for either mode. So they're in one position to use the serial port and the other position for the USB port. So let's go ahead and put our module in the carrier board. <clears throat> let's connect our serial cable. Again, no modem and we're using a USB to serial converter. Now that the hardware's set up, let's set up the terminal on our host machine. I'm going to do this in Linux, but you could also do this with a Windows operating system. Alright, so let's go ahead and choose our favorite um, terminal program in this case I'm using Minicom and let's go ahead and make sure that you have your setup correctly uh, in this case under serial device I'm using a uh, USB serial device just go ahead and enter whatever's correct for your host machine setup and uh, for baud rate make sure you're using 115k baud uh, 8 bit no parity bit and one stop bit and no full control now I'm going to start with a uh, Windows module here. This is going to have eBoot as the bootloader. Go ahead and uh, power this thing on. Now the operating system is loaded, but you're going to see that not very much came out on the serial console here. And um, that's because by default, the bootloader is not outputting very much information on the serial console. Now if we hold down spacebar and reset the module, we'll enter the bootloader. This is eBoot, and we can hit X to go into the command prompt. We type help here, and we'll see some of the commands available to us. If we type set, we're going to see some of the um, bootloader config parameters here. And if we type set debug, we'll see that there is a debug serial output set to zero. If we set this to one, then we're going to get some more debug information on the serial console. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we need to save this change to flash. And uh, of course, from the bootloader, we can change a variety of other parameters here, but for now, Let's go ahead and just see what we get when we enable uh, debug output on the serial port. I'm going to go ahead and reset the device, let it load to the OS. And we're going to see uh, some more information come out on the serial console here. And so this is a great way, if you're having any problems booting the module, it's a good way to see if uh, the OS is uh, experiencing any trouble uh, here with the debug output. Things look good and the uh, module's successfully booted. Let's go ahead and try our uh, Linux module. I'm going to go ahead and swap the module. I'm just going to go ahead and let this boot. Here you're seeing a lot more output, and that's because um, we have the entire um, Linux console by default is going to the serial port here. So you can actually you're going to see all the output from the kernel uh, and system startup and there's a full 
system terminal available here so we can actually log into the, the computer and use it over the serial port. Well, let's go ahead and reboot into the bootloader. I'll hold down. I'll have to hold down a key. In that case, it's holding down enter. So we got a few lines here, but this is the command prompt for U-boot. You can type help and see some available commands to us. And we can type print env and see the uh, environment variables here in U-boot. Many of these parameters are used for uh, are the boot parameters used when booting the operating system. So if we're going to change whether we're booting from uh, say the onboard flash or MMC or to an SD card, this is where we would do that. This is also where we would go to uh, flash the module with a new image. And we can just go ahead and boot on into the OS by typing boot. You now see Linux booting and of course once it's loaded you can access the terminal again via the serial console and that covers the very basics of the serial console. For more information on how you can utilize the serial console with your Toradex computer module visit our developer website developer.toradex.com